the woman at the well, the well's bucket, John 4, 28-30, the woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, Come see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In John chapter 4, the woman was transformed. She went from brokenness, loneliness, and tragedy to triumph, to proclaiming Jesus as the Christ. She left what she was doing. She left the water pot and went to proclaim Jesus to the people of the city. The encounter with Jesus changed her focus. She was no longer concerned with her everyday life. In my mind, I see this bucket of cool water just dipped out of the well, sitting there on the well's ledge, abandoned by its owner, alone, with dirt and sand blowing all around it, with the sun beating down on it in the heat of the day. In a short time, the water will be warm and contaminated with the dirt and sand, and it will be unusable. I'm sure that someone was expecting this back at the house. Maybe they were waiting on a cool drink of water or a nice bath, but here it sits all alone, abandoned by its master, useless, just sitting there collecting dust and dirt and becoming stagnant. It had been in the presence of the Messiah and heard the same powerful message of hope. You can drink from the water of life and with this living water, you will never thirst again. I am the Messiah, the one that gives this water of life freely. And I realize that this bucket is an innate object, but it has the ability to carry water, which provides life to the physical body. Jesus Christ came that we might drink of the waters of life and that we may have life more abundantly. Psalms 34 and 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. This woman at the well, she wanted the people around her to taste the same life-changing water that she experienced with Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one. The encounter that she had impacted the people around her because the water of life was opened up to her and was flowing in and through her, spilling out like a river. And when you have a true encounter with the Christ, with Jesus, the Christ, it will transform you and will impact others that are around you.